Hello world, welcome back everybody. Welcome to episode five of Some Low Grade Gamers. We are joined this week by myself, Tom from Some Kind of Gaming, the other half of Some Kind of Gaming. Me, Laura. Hi. <laughs> you, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the low grade gamer himself, Mr. Dan. How you doing, Dan? Not bad. How are you guys going? Yeah, better. Well, uh, better than you are. Yeah. So for those eagle-eyed viewers or eagle-eared viewers out there, you may have noticed that we skipped last week's podcast. It was uh, it is unavailable. This should be episode six, but it's only episode five. Yeah. Um, we were confused as all of you were to start off with. So we're uh, basically going to let Dan tell you why. Why did we skip last week, Dan? Well. I've got some basic OHS advice for everybody, I think is probably the best way to put it. And I, I would advise not using Crocs on stairs <laughs> uh, because you'll go well, down. Anywhere else? Yeah, oh. no, oh, I'm a fan of the Crocs. I'm a fan of the Crocs. Oh, really? <laughs> Huge oh, fan of you're Crocs. a real dad, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> Dad legs. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, so I took a tumble down the stairs. Yep. And they um, fell down some stairs, everyone. Yeah. Yes. It was yep. that that's basically all, like he was in hospital. So he's okay though, yeah. generally. That's yeah. important. More or less anyway. Yeah. So he, well, he's yeah. alive. I feel yeah. like falling down some stairs is a potentially life ending incident. So well, yeah. Glad that didn't happen. Yeah, you no, can't no, say the same for the switches, though. Yes. No, yes, we that's lost arguably it. the worst part. Lost a couple of switches. <laughs> on some switches. Yes, yeah. but you know, sometimes you got to sacrifice some switches. Well, yeah, At least they did push in the fall. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> I'm just happy that they weren't customer units, if that makes sense. As in, they weren't booked for customers. Yes. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah, that does make so, sense. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're sorry we missed last week, but, you yes, know. Yes, Tom's we think very sorry. It's, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wow, that actually leads to our first topic, but we think it's a fair enough excuse that we missed last week. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. some kind of gaming just went out for cocktails instead. We had a good night. We did, yeah. 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 Dan was uh, in pain in bed. So uh, we, we had the better evening out of the two of us. I know, unfortunately, but I'm glad that, I'm glad that you're okay, Dan, and things are looking up. Yes. Thank you. The, the, light, the late night phone call was very much appreciated as well. I actually found that very funny. I could uh, <laughs> we def like definitely Dan. tell there was some intoxication going okay? on. <laughs> yes, we're uh, a yeah, couple, couple of cocktails deep by that stage. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we, had, we had to ring our friend and make sure he's okay. So he's okay. He's, he's alive and well. And we are sorry for missing last week, but here we are with this week. We did promise that the week before last now, we promised we'd uh, have a little chat about the Game Awards because they happened. Um, we, we know we're a week late, so we're not going to spend too much time on it this week. Uh, Some Kind of Gaming has a YouTube video on that if you'd like to delve a little bit more into Laura and my opinions. But we're going to get Dan's opinion. I can vouch that I did not push him down the stairs because Cyberpunk didn't win any awards. <laughs> that was the threat, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, something so, like oh, that. good. Something like it that. It was something like that, yeah. yeah it wasn't me, because Cyberpunk didn't win it. It's fine. No, you I would did. be highly suspicious. If, when, if when I was in the hospital, did I did check. Yeah. Yeah. You checked with the security cameras that Tom didn't jump out from a vent. <laughs> <laughs> Cyberpunk. <laughs> <laughs> This is for Surprise. <laughs> well, so, um, go on. I just have to ask because it is a weekly question. Has Roland turned up? <laughs> no, that bastard. <laughs> oh, classic. I've checked three oh, times this week. Running gag. <laughs> Hashtag, where's Roland? We're we'll going to get Roland. <laughs> <laughs> one day, and one day, know one day not, I'm going to ask you, and you'll say yes. I know, and you know what's really funny is somebody put a post. I think it was on Gaming Australia, the Facebook page, 
and okay. they wrote like Cyberpunk on the Xbox Series X, awesome game, yada yada yada, right? So I I commented and said, yeah, look, good game, but really buggy. And then she mm-hmm. responded and goes, mine's been flawless. Man, I'm pissed. Okay. Oh, I'm <laughs> Lucky you, lady. Good, good for her. What the I hell? Guess. But bad for everyone else. Yeah, it seems yeah. to be a bit hit and miss. Look, I know Cyberpunk's meant to have been fixed now. We spend way too much time talking about it on this podcast. But uh, they just don't, they don't deserve my money in my opinion i'm i'm not going to pay for a half baked game that is now kind of good a year and a bit later like still, that ship has sailed still not you know? good on xbox though yeah mm. so only for some mm. users yeah no nah, it's uh that's a purchase i will be not not be making unfortunately sorry cd project i really like a lot of your other games anyways it didn't win any awards at the game awards so that's good Dan, what's your overall opinion on the awards awards ceremony? Say that very lightly. Yeah. Watching the ceremony, I just felt the announcements lacked a little bit of excitement. It was sort of like, and game of the year is, it takes two. Mm-hmm. That the guy who won it was pretty stoked, though. Oh, yeah. He yeah, was, he was, he was, he was and stuff. Yeah, he he was like, <laughs> I was hoping he would make another risque speech, but... Yeah, that would have been hilarious. Yeah. I know. He was a bit uh, he... wasted at the Game Awards ago and uh, made an interesting speech, if anyone wants to look into it. Yeah, he, he was good, though. That, that was the only good part, do you know what I mean? Like, the rest oh, of it, yeah. every time they made an announcement, it was just sort of... Yeah, a little bit lackluster. I don't know. You've got mm-hmm. sound effects and oh. stuff. Use them, you know? 100%. Yeah. 100%. I, uh, many of the awards weren't even, like, read out, you know? Yeah. So mm. That no. was the worst part for me, is Same. that they didn't even read out the list of nominees. Like, you can't even say the list. You're just like, these are the nominees. And the winner is, and it's like, you. do you even know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No. Do you have any idea? I honestly don't think a lot of them did. Maybe Jeff Keighley himself, but other presenters. Well, Genshin Impact certainly didn't know. Oh, yeah, Genshin Impact. <laughs> if you watched it, you know, yeah, no, that was yeah, pretty um, annoying. The one bit I did like about the Game of the Year awards, because, I mean, if you haven't looked yet, check who won, blah, 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 and do all that sort of yep. stuff, because uh, we won't go into that too much today uh, I, I think they're think. all pretty fair all the winners there's yeah not really any complaints here nothing that didn't necessarily deserve it so no i thought i thought it was all relatively yeah. reasonable recipient. except for death um because i don't know you just yeah. don't know i yeah, say so that every time anyway <laughs> yeah um but i think over overall my favorite bit was the did you, did you see the video that was actual gameplay but looked like a trailer? Uh, Hellblade, yes, could have been that. I can't remember the name. Yeah, yeah. Hellblade. was there a big monster? Yes, like a giant, yes, like yes. A crawling giant. I that really was, want that game. That was epic. I literally, I that was my literally, part. yeah, that's the that game we're most looking forward to. Yeah. And no, I really good. want to play the first one now. I haven't played the first. I don't want to play yeah. the first one. It'll ruin it. How, how, <laughs> Hellblade is very much like that, the, the original game. It's very much like a cinematic experience hmm. with the gameplay thrown in there. In fact, apparently the worst thing about that game is the gameplay. <laughs> like the, <laughs> the cinematic experience and the story and all of that is amazing. Uh, I don't know if either, well, I know Laura noticed, but I don't know if you noticed, Dan, throughout that trailer, there's all these whispering going on in the background. Yep. And it's because the main character suffers from psychosis. Uh, so all that whispering is the voices in her head. And there's like heaps of them, like, you know, like you're going to die. Like you're the worst. Like nobody cares about you. All this like real, like negative intense stuff. And I love that. I think that's amazing that they're bringing mm. like those those issues to the forefront of. And they did heaps of minds. research into like, yeah, being able to represent it properly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they actually worked with people that suffer from 
from psychosis which is amazing yeah so the mm. first game was yeah very cinematic experience it's not very long if anyone's interested in it but hellblade 2 Ooh, ooh, that looks good yeah I'm i think that so was our looking favorite to that. yeah our favorite announcement for sure there was a couple of others but yeah that one was definitely the highlight i think yeah, yeah. the low light was the fact that there was nothing about breath of the wilds 2 there's nothing in nintendo full stop there was two nintendo ads that's it sony there was a little bit about horizon I yeah there was a little bit yeah. about horizon that was it and then uh microsoft was hellblade and i think that was pretty much it so the three big gaming companies weren't weren't present. really present which i thought was pretty interesting mm. a lot of people think that might be a turning point as far as the game awards go if the, those three companies aren't interested then what you know do you know what i mean like yeah. maybe something will change but uh i have heard a conspiracy theory you know because it's at the microsoft theater right uh, huh? i love yeah. conspiracy yeah, theories hats on. yeah it's at the microsoft theater so maybe sony and micro and um nintendo didn't, didn't maybe they be weren't involved. invited exactly yeah Microsoft didn't invite them to their theater. They didn't get invited to that their birthday the party. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> yeah, look, there was, there was quite a few really good announcements that I really liked. Uh, Sonic, the new Sonic game, Sonic of the Wilds, looks awesome. But I think that's a major problem with the Game Awards is that it was pretty much just a show about upcoming games. It was essentially like a half-assed E3 or like a general generalized Nintendo Direct, or you know. it wasn't about the Game Awards. No, no, no. It was. It, was, it, was called, it should have been called the Game Announcements. Yeah, which, yeah, which I, is fine. I, yeah, it just it wasn't there for me. No, yeah, no, it it never is, and we we expect too much from it every year. And every year we're let down. So I think the general population is in ingredients with with all of, with all of us here. To be honest, um, yeah. If you're not, that's fine. If you really loved it, then hell yeah, like good on you. That's mm. that's awesome. I mean, obviously somebody loved it. I think it got over a hundred million viewers this year. Don't yeah, well, I will always watch them, even though I don't necessarily yeah. think the best representation representation that the Game Awards could be. I will always watch it. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah, I sort so, of feel obligated. Look, hundred million people. That's that's grass, man. That's awesome. <laughs> that's grass. Yeah, very Australian <laughs> saying there. <laughs> Sorry, non Australians. That means good for all you people overseas. <laughs> like really good. <laughs> oh, funny. Oh, anyways, yeah, the Game Awards happened. They were a thing. They were a bit lackluster, but you know. It's- can't really complain in other news moving on from that halo's campaign has come out now i think that also happened last week should that have been yeah. talked about on last week's podcast yeah another one that we missed because dan fell down some stairs but he had lots of time for Which being rest good. Okay, yes. time to play it yeah mm, oh so he, there we go. Another tinfoil hats back on. He ready? was pretty ready? much still working research. He threw himself down the stairs. Oh. <laughs> campaign. That's it. Job. Next Can't time I know we what didn't to do. figure it out earlier. I feel like the wool was just pulled over my eyes. Yeah, there. it was. I but know. now I see right through it. I, uh, I am glad because I was not glad, but. <laughs> I, I never normally would have the time to literally sit down and finish a campaign in the yep. space of a week. Like, there's no, yep. no way I could potentially do that with a four year old and the business and yep. all those sorts of things. There's no way I could do it. And to be honest, yeah, it is the best bloody campaign I have ever played. Absolutely wow. trumps everything it's everything i have always wanted in a first person shooter for me the open world style of the game is awesome i do wish it was a little bit bigger uh, in terms okay. of the maps i felt the map potentially is a little bit small especially at the end once you get because the further you go basically the the access the more access you've got to different vehicles and yes. By the end of it, you get a wasp, which is 
a plane, basically, yeah, uh, with machine guns on the front. So you can fly anywhere. So that, yeah. that would be my only sort of downside of it. I think it needs a little bit more of after game content, which is still coming. So, you know. Yeah. Yes. So, so full transparency, Laura and myself haven't played Halo. In fact, I've... I've I've never owned an Xbox, so just didn't have the console growing up. Uh, no fault of my own. That's my that's my parents yell at them, not me. I'm sorry. Blame <laughs> it on your parents. Yeah, played some Halo at friends' houses, just like multiplayer and stuff like that. So full transparency, I I haven't played Halo Infinite either. I have heard lots about it though. It's kind of impossible not to hear about it if you're into into gaming, especially now. I heard Dan. That the world, while it is large, is quite empty. I've heard a couple of complaints that there's a lot of nothing hanging around. What do you think about that? I don't, I don't know about that. From the plain reason of, I think it depends. And this is the this is actually something that I want to bring up. And yeah, please. I don't actually think it's necessarily three four three industries fault. I actually think a mm-hmm. lot of that has to do with the quick resume feature on the Xbox. I I think okay. that feature is incredibly broken. And it yeah, is... that's what broke Valhalla for you, wasn't it? Yes. So Valhalla yeah. has mm-hmm. caused issues. Cyberpunk, it's caused issues. I mean, everything causes issues on yeah. Cyberpunk. Yeah. But it's, it's caused issues on so many of the games. The only one so far that it hasn't is... Uh, Plague's Tale, Innocence, whatever it's called. Just like that game. Um, But Halo Infinite was, if you log in using Quick Resume, there is stuff missing and you can tell that something should be there. So then if you then exit out, get rid of that Quick Resume feature and then jump back in, all of a sudden there's some bad guys there where they weren't there two seconds ago. So right. I don't... Act missing assets. like Yeah. It, quick resume is just what? constantly missing assets from the game. That's so interesting. That is... what? Why? What a broken feature. Yeah, it's, it's honestly... What, quick resume is just you can get out of it like pressing... Up to five oh, games. But- up to five oh, games, so you can have five s- games running at the same time, and then yeah, switch and jump in and out board. really quickly. Uh, Who, why need that though? Anyway, it's pretty it, good when it works. Like, but, like, like when I I don't know. I just I guess I've never had the feature, so I've never thought about using something like that. But I'm I'm generally playing one game at a time. I don't know. Can you play more than one game at a time? I liked it for Jurassic World Evolution because you could quickly jump in, do something, yep. and then either leave the game or do something else and then jump back in quite quickly. Whereas if you had to go through the whole rigmarole, especially when you play Jurassic World for an extended period of time, it's mm-hmm. sort of a little bit boring to get back in and do everything and then get back out and that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Other than that, for me, once it does not work with COD, right? As an example, yeah. anything to do with anything online, it is broken. Yeah, of course. Absolute crap. Yeah, of course. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah Apex yeah. Legends I mean, it doesn't work properly. It works much better. Well, you can't jump COD. out of online play regularly. No, but even so. just to the lobby. Like, oh, really? Yeah. No, oh, no, even no, if you no, just. No, no, it'll come up with a server error or some sort of other well, error. That's when you would want to use that the most, I would say. When you're like waiting for a game, especially yeah. with like a game that you have to wait ages to find a space. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, I can't. Jeez, if you wait three hours to find a game in Final Fantasy 14, which mm-hmm. seems to be the case at the moment, the servers are a little bit broken in Final Fantasy, just so everyone knows. Yeah. That's a whole nother topic we probably don't have time to get into today. But yeah, you that's when you would want that feature. Yeah. So that's just, does it make sense? That's the yeah, that's the only time I would use that feature, yeah, I think, I if it took ages to get into a game so you play another game while you're waiting. Yep. It is 
it is I've got so many hobbies for me good on the Nintendo Switch. So I don't know yeah. if you noticed, but that feature is sort of there with just one game. Mm. And you can just jump straight into where you were. Like for example, if you got Pokemon Shield sitting there or something like that, or Diamond mm-hmm. Pearl, whatever you're playing, you can just jump straight into where you were and just run off and do things. So yeah, like hit the hit the home button and go back and yeah. So I really like to the like that. Or, yeah, yeah I, I th- like it for the Switch because I think it's a Switch sort of style if that makes sense like you don't really play many online games on the switch as yeah, opposed especially to the... if you're on the bus or you know yeah. wherever you are public transport or mm-hmm. something along those lines it's yeah so that's sort of right? my thought patterns with the whole halo infinite being sparse i, I actually think it's yeah, it's, yeah. it's pretty decent <laughs> for like if you do nothing with your life and just want to play Halo Infinite 24-7, then no, there's there's not enough going on. Yeah. I, I agree with that. But for most people, I think you like it's really cool because you can you go, you get a forward operating base, you kill all the bad guys <laughs> there, and then you take control of the forward operating base. You can then okay. go over to the side, choose what guns you want because you get different versions of each gun. And you get upgraded versions depending on if you kill, you know, high value targets, whatever that may be. And then you can also request vehicles. So, for example, uh, most people know what the Warthog is, the big, yes. you know, full drive like vehicle. Even us, yeah, mm-hmm. even us X, Xbox noobs know the Warthog. Yes, there's Very one iconic. called the Razorback, which is basically a Warthog with a Ute style back end. So you can have more. Yep marines with you which is the really cool part you can actually so you take over a forward operating base or Mm -hmm. you save a bunch of marines because there's there's those options to just save marines randomly on on the ring okay and then you take them with you so yeah that's cool so you build your own little team yeah and and you literally can do main missions with with these dudes and ladies that's cool so are they like side quests of going to recruit these these blokes, the other Marines? And and women. God. And so women, yes. Sorry. Um, of course. <laughs> the, um, yeah, no, it's 2021. 20, uh, I knew you'd say that. <laughs> I the, think um, Halo set after 2021, though. It was correct it, me if I'm wrong. Yeah. It's really good from the point of view that, yeah, you you've got those side quests where you go off and you know, they'll be captured or something like that, or they're in the middle of a battle and you go there and you help kill all the bad guys. And then, yeah, you can pick them up. So get in the back of the Razorback and let's go to the to a cool. main mission. Yeah. You literally build, bring build them. The force up. Yeah, you bring them on a main mission. doesn't matter how many die. You just go straight back to the forward operating base, <laughs> get some new ones. replaceable. Yeah. Get the new ones. Redundant yeah. and replaceable. But they, they even the cool thing about it, and I, they really thought this through, is the further that you advance in terms of yes. saving people and getting valor, as they call it, which is basically if you shoot down a propaganda tower, or which is basically, as it sounds, it's propaganda from the enemy, yeah. and yep, makes sense. Or, or you save a, a group of marines, you get valor. So the more valor you get, the more the vehicles you get, plus the Marines actually get kitted out with different stuff. So okay, the further so you go... Like a leveling system. Yeah, like they get rocket launchers, then they get sniper rifles yep. and all those other bits and pieces. So then you can sort of... I mean, you got to drive near them to get them to come into your thing. So you just look around and go, okay, I want rocket launchers on this mission. I'm going to go drive by this guy, I'm going to drive by this guy, and then I want a sniper, yada, yada, yada. And oh, that's cool. So you get to build your team almost. Mm. Yes. I like that. It makes it a little bit more tactical. Yeah. And the best part about it is yep. Xbox fans no longer need to buy Spider-Man. Why? Because you can upgrade the grappling hook to the point oh, where you that's can pretty cool. much use it repetitively. So if you're oh, going... Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I'm literally swinging around this boss mission. I wish I recorded it. 
I was literally just bringing it around the thing. So I was fun. like, oh my God, I'm Spider Man. This is sick. <laughs> I no longer need to get Spider Man. I love that screen. Just- <laughs> going around going around this mission and the bad guy's trying to chase you and you're like Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so, oh i love it that's awesome the next really good thing about halo infinite is you actually find milnia uh, armor boxes milnia is the armor that the spartans all wear that's the code name for okay. it yep. and you'll find an armor box you open it up and whatever you open up, you actually get that in the multiplayer. So that's, oh, that's really nice. cool. So skins. The yep. campaign affects the multiplayer. Yeah. Which Too is... often, they're just completely separate things. Or exactly. one's just forgotten in preference for the other. Looking yep. at you, Call of Duty. You do that <laughs> way too often. Yes. Uh, you know, no people play campaign, campaign Call of Duty sometimes, guys. But, yeah. you know, you want that. Uh, I'm not... I'm not. I had no friends growing up, so I'm not a huge multiplayer dude. Uh, yeah, I I prefer campaigns in my game. So uh, having something as good as the Halo campaign is definitely a must for me. I've got another couple of questions for you, Dan, because I've heard again. I've heard quite a lot about Halo. Oh, There's this. been a couple of complaints on the size of the campaign. Now I've heard varying stories here. I don't know if some of these people are just like absolute gods at Halo, <laughs> but apparently some people are getting through it in like a couple of hours, like one sitting, like three to five hours or something like that. I've heard other reports of it taking, you know, upwards of 10 and then, you know, upwards of 15. So how long did it take you? And are you an absolute god at Halo? <laughs> Look, I, I'm not what you would call great at FPS shooters. I think I've mentioned yep. it before. If I don't have my Elite controller, I'm stuffed. Ah, uh, um, yes. yes. I um, do remember you saying that. Yeah, you need your I'm, special cheater controller. <laughs> yes, I'm crap otherwise. But I am. I know I am. I need a, I need a handicap. Uh, like, leave me alone. Yeah, I was going to say, that would be worse than me. That's why Diva's my main. Because she's a tank, so she's got so much extra defense. Yeah, nice. I just don't <laughs> play them. <laughs> I think the if you played it on easy and you were a fantastic shooter, yep. then and you had no interest in the story whatsoever, then sure, okay. sure you could smash it out quickly in a couple of hours. You reckon, like three, so? three? Yeah, probably. But cool. that's if All you right. had no interest in the story and you just... So we're skip- skipping cut scenes and stuff skipping here. Skipping every single cut ske- yep. scene, skipping any of the forward operating base stuff, skipping yep. saving all of the Marines, which the, you probably yep. save 30 groups or something like that. Yep. And... Does it... You, does it in, well, it does incentivize you to save the Marines. We've already been over that, yep. Yeah, because well, you get valor and then you can unlock all yep. your vehicles yes, and all that sort exactly. of stuff. So, yep. and more Marines. yeah, and so it's, there's definitely incentive to the, the way they've done it is very, very well. I think they've, mm. they've thought about it, and the campaign can directly affect the multiplayer, which is really cool. Yes. So, mm-hmm. you know, like now I said, it'll take you, sorry, to complete. I'd say. To have- I'd say 10 hours, but I made sure that I had a lot of fun with it. And mm-hmm. I watched... I mean, 10 hours. That's decent. Yeah, it's not huge. Don't get no. me wrong. It's not like, I mean, you know, some RPGs can go for hundreds of hours, you know. Think... Yeah, that's like yeah. the other end of the spectrum, I isn't think, it? I think if you just smash the Witcher out and skip all the cutscenes, it's still going to take you like 45 hours or something yeah. ridiculous like that. Um, but... 10, hour, 10 hours, it's not It's not short. No, that's like I a know. decently sized I story. I yeah, there's so. some other games that are like an hour, two hours. Well, quality over quantity anyway. Mm. That's my but opinion. There's no way I, I would have... something to be fantastic in one hour than kind of average over 30. Yeah. yeah. No, well, then you'd no... never make it to the end of the 30. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, t- to be honest, there's no way I would have been able to play and finish it under a normal under normal circumstances i wouldn't have had the time so for me it just worked out perfectly (laughs) down the stairs at the right time didn't you always got a silver lining yeah exactly so or else it's just yeah i fell down the stairs 
Yeah. <laughs> so look, they, they, I think they've done a fantastic job. I don't care what anybody else says. They're wrong. Oh, and, and it's your opinion. It's, there's nothing wrong with having an opinion. I think it's generally accepted as pretty amazing. So yeah, look, it no, like it was, it's good. Opinion. It is good, yep. plain, simple. I, I think they do need to add more, but they have said that they are going to add more. So yeah, that's my other issue with Halo at the moment, the Halo Infinite, is that they're drip feeding this to us, aren't they? That's one of the things that I disliked is yes. you cannot do co-op right now. First time in Halo I did hear about in that history. The yeah. first time you cannot do co-op. It's, in the campaign. Yeah. That's the first time. And Interesting. It's why they they haven't released it yet. Oh, it's coming. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nah, neither do I. I look releasing the multiplayer first was an interesting choice. I don't. I don't know if that's ever has that ever happened before. At least not with something as big as Halo. COD did it. Um, there. Okay, COD did it. There you go. I don't know much about COD. It's not really a game for me. So uh, I apologize there. Uh, I thought that was an interesting choice to start with, and then. They're drip feeding us all these other features later on as well. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's uh, yeah, it's, it seems I, interesting. It's just strange. I Give think what, what's happened is it wasn't ready. No, mm-hmm. I agree. But they pushed it out early, but pushed it out, pushed out the stuff that was definitely ready, as opposed yeah. to Cyberpunk that pushed out a full game that you couldn't finish because Roland's never had his damn job. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So I, I think, look, to be honest, the campaign is, is fantastic and I think yep. everybody should give the campaign a go. I, Me and my brother used to play co-op, so I think co-op's a little bit more nostalgia-based yeah, for me. So I, well, yeah, if we were going to play it, we would want to play it co-op. Yeah. I think yeah, we're, yeah totally. We love co-op games. Couch co-op is, is, is so underrated, mm-hmm. especially these days. Love it. Love it. Can't get enough. And I, that's what I think's a little... Now, somebody, and it was on Reddit, has worked out how to make co-op work, of course. Classic Reddit. <laughs> oh, I love it. So apparently whole- you jump in, then you jump out, you log in with a different controller, then try and jump in again. And then it'll bring up the other player. All uh, right, I'm gonna have to go back okay. to listen and listen to that later because I uh, will try didn't it. Catch it. Jump in and out, and then back in and out, and then yeah, but with the second controller. Yeah. Okay. yeah, second controller. All right, that's all right. important. And then, and then it will do it. it. But the second player won't be able to see any of the story stuff, so they'll be able yeah. to do it but they won't really know what's going on, apparently. (laughs) So it's relatively pointless then. Oh, look, at least, I don't know know how I feel about that. I get that Xbox was desperate for Halo. They needed it. It was essentially their first first party game. Yeah. Uh, After so long of having the new console out, they really needed to get a game on it. Yeah, like a whole (laughs) year they spent with no exclusives. Uh, not not really the correct way to start a generation. Um, and yeah, so I get I get that they were desperate, but is it is it the right choice to release essentially half a game? Well, well so I, many games are drip feeding content these days. I, I think partly it's because like things aren't ready by the time they feel like they need to release them, but I also feel like companies are doing it to keep you engaged in the game for a longer amount of time. Yes. And it's I think COVID bad... has absolutely destroyed the industry. Of course, of mm-hmm. course. Yeah, you know, COVID's in, up. Yeah, in terms of creation. So I, I think what they've put together is mm-hmm. really good. And, yeah. Look, it and... seems to have worked for them. The conversation, the buzz around Microsoft at the moment is huge. Everybody loved the multiplayer when that was released. And look, I don't know how much money they're going to make on Halo because... Well, so many people love Halo, so I'm sure a lot. But are people going to, like, just want the multiplayer? I guarantee you a lot of the player base is just going to be like, well, I'll just play the multiplayer. 
Uh, and then a lot of the player base also has Game Pass. So look, I get I get that that's almost one in the same. They want you to play it on Game Pass. Uh, so how how many actual copies are they going to play? Look, look, as you said, Halo is huge, but you know at the same time, yeah, free multiplayer, Game Pass. I don't know. I don't True. know. Game Pass probably it's... makes a difference, but yeah. I reckon yeah. it'll still do pretty well. I think it's the free it multiplayer. Has been one. It has been the top three in our search items. Nice. Um, okay. On the yeah, website, so people still want to buy it. They mm-hmm. want to buy the campaign. That's and yep. and what I found really odd, and something mm-hmm. that we've only started to add in the last day or so, is they also want the additional purchase content. So you can purchase oh, yeah. double XP and other bits and pieces for the multiplayer. And okay. that seems to be really high up there in terms of searches. That's that's number six, I think, on our search list of okay. people just okay. looking for all the other stuff, which, I mean, I, look, they're going to make money out of, out of it, it because <laughs> even though that the multiplayer is free they've also still got the battle pass so if you pay you know ten dollars for that battle pass or you pay more because you want more things sooner or you want a custom skin or blah 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 that's that's the way to go they're going to make bulk money off free game people love custom skins yeah Yeah. and the the fact that you can get them through let's end this custom skins let's let's end this weird trend buy another game no i like the custom skins i want them for free though (laughs) Hollow yeah, Knight is honestly one of the best games I've ever played. And that thing costs like 14 bucks. How much Australian. is it for a custom skin? Like 14 bucks. Like the price of another like soccer yeah. game. Yeah, yeah, no, just go pass. buy an indie game. And that's, I don't that's think five indie developers deserve you to buy their game and not a skin of Fortnite. You don't, five bucks for a custom skin. You don't need Spider-Man and the Joker. You know? Our custom skins are gonna be about five. Yeah, that's, I reckon that's a that's good what price. We've for negotiated companies. with our suppliers. But if you buy it direct, price, yeah. it's oh, it's more expensive. Um, but again, you, you can get heaps of cool skins through the campaign, which is which is yes. good. Like I didn't expect that. I, 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 yeah, I didn't expect to go through finding all of that stuff and actually thinking it was good. Like, I remember the first three things I found. I was like, oh, stupid charms. I don't want charms on my guns. I, just, I hate that. <laughs> it's not cool. Um, but then you start finding the the skins. Like, I've got, I got some very nice skins. But oh, lovely. Very nice. It's my skin thought. Not I bad. Like. <laughs> no, I've got a burn at the moment, but, you know, that's about it. Other than that. Oh, that's all good. I don't get burnt. That's my problem. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Oh wait, no, no, it's the opposite. I only burn. No, no I don't. I don't do that. But yeah, I, I think, and I've I've probably gone on about it too long now. But I I, I think Halo Infinite definitely, in terms of uh, if I had to review it, I would yep. give it four and a half out of five stars. The only reason it didn't get that extra half a star is just because at the end there is a separate sort of section or map that if you don't investigate while you're there you don't seem to be able to get back to it okay yeah oh okay one of those one and done areas i don't i don't know if that's going to be later in terms of you can access it later because it's fairly big in terms of size so i don't know if that's something they're going to fix later or if it's something that needs to be fixed i don't know yeah. But overall, I think it's a fantastic game. You get your cool little achievements. You get bits and pieces. You get to shoot grunts. You get to smash the shit out of people. <laughs> it is. It is. Spider Man. Yes, literally, I'm swinging. <laughs> I'm swinging. Yeah, <laughs> I was loving it. It was. It was great. I was like, oh my god, Spider Man. It's. I think. <laughs> I think over the holiday period, Laura and I are going to invest in Game Pass, um, just for while we have some extra time because it's quite hard, you know, doing all this content creation and trying to play our switches and the PlayStation and like all the billions of games there is to play. Uh, so 
almost don't have time for the old Microsoft these days. But yeah, we're gonna gonna invest in Game Pass, and uh, yeah, maybe we'll uh, bring up in a couple of weeks or so our experience on mm. or with with Halo. Might be we'll nice try one. do that co-op thing because that sounds fun. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I look yeah, forward. Hopefully, to it's it. out by then. Yeah, I'd like I'd like your opinions as well. So far, yeah, all the people sure, that I've I'm spoken sure. to, yeah, in terms yeah. of my brother as well, who's yeah. a massive Halo fan, he hadn't played Halo for six years. Went to one of those Comic Con things and came oh, second yeah. in the Halo tournament. So, that's oh, awesome. No. Good yeah, on him. He's, that's he's good. Oh yeah. Like yeah, he's, cool. he's epically good, and yeah, he's he's really enjoying the campaign as well. So nice. I think overall they've. They've ticked all the boxes, especially compared to some of the stuff that's come out in the past with some of the Halo games. Like, I don't think Reach was that good, or yeah, he was potentially not that good. As well, yeah, I think I think Infinite definitely takes it to a. I'm going to say Breath of the Wild like feel in terms yeah. of in mm-hmm. terms of the fact that you could just jump in a warthog, chuck some marines in the back, just go around, and kill some people, fun. Yeah. 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 That, you know, so, that, fun. There's nothing wrong with that. I will add something though, as you were mentioning Game Pass, and what I think a lot of people yeah. don't understand yet or don't know about yet. And I'm not saying you're in this boat, but if you don't have a powerful PC, but you do have a PC, you can still use Game Pass. If you opt in to the uh, Xbox Insiders program, you can cloud game. And I am telling you right now, the cloud gaming works relatively well. It's still in beta. (laughs) It works relatively. No, like if you were to play a a FPS in multiplayer, like you're stupid, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) But as an example, I've... I. uh, can I share this on there? I don't know. I forced oh. I forced my Google TV to download Game Pass. Okay. Yep. Yep. So that's Android side loading for you. That's not my problem. If you don't want them to do it, stop them. So <laughs> I side loaded Game Pass onto my Chromecast because I thought I'm going to be a funny bugger and see if I can do this. So yes, I did it for research purposes. Yeah, yeah, for research. That's it. So connected my Xbox control to the Chromecast as well through Google TV, because you can do that. So did that, brought up Game Pass and was playing Forza Horizon. Cool. On On Google Chrome. On Google Chrome. On a Google TV. That is so cool. I like that a lot. Yeah, I'd like to do that. And it worked. Like, look, it wasn't, there was a couple of glitchy things where you had to, like, Press down like multiple times. No, well, it's meant to be a touch. It's never going to be screen perfect. interface. Like streaming. App. Yeah, yeah. You, first of all, you're streaming. <laughs> Second of all, you've got it connected through like a weird Chromecast setup. Thing. Well, it's yeah. not really designed to no it's run not something legit like at all. that. So exactly, yeah, it's not legit. Yeah, at look, all. if it works on that, then if you can uh, find a easy way to do it legit, then uh, you're only going to have a better time, aren't you? Not only can you do it on your PC, even if your PC is not fully powered, like I have tried it on a Surface Pro 3, right? That's an old okay. Surface and it still works well. Or on your phone. And I, I'm yeah, not even kidding. It works, Crazy. it works well on your phone. Yeah. Microsoft it, is really leading the way in terms of that type of stuff. It, they're doing a, They've now moved it as well. So before it used to be a separate app. It's now, okay. it's it's actually not Just too bad to that. see. It's actually got cloud console and then PC. Uh, I'm showing it to the screen for yep. those that are listening. My, my and, phone could never do it. <laughs> and see, this this phone here, my my Pixel 5 actually broke the other day. So I, I had to buy this on a whim, right? And Was I, it when I you got out of yes. <laughs> little bit. <laughs> Oh, a little bit. That was it, wasn't it? Yeah. Laura, sorry, jab your molly down. Yeah, I'm on the floor. <laughs> some of these games actually have, and it's too hard for you guys to see, 
But yeah, see how it says plays great on mobile or play with touch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. So you can somehow, play with touch. That is insane. Like, like I connect my Xbox control to my phone. Yes, and, that's the way to go. And you can see Batman there. I actually put yeah, Batman yeah, yeah, yeah. On your phone. On, yeah, on a, on a fairly regular basis. Uh, I, I, it just works really well. Uh, and I think that's because Batman was one of the first ones to be available on the platform. This was on like, Game Pass. On uh, X Cloud Gaming. Cloud Cloud this, gaming. Was, this is from like when it first, first got beta released. Yeah. I was playing Batman back then on it. And so they've had, had time to had a long out. time to make it work yeah, well, and it does. That's so I think that's that's one thing to remember to all those that, I mean, it's really hard to afford a Nintendo Switch, an Xbox, a PlayStation 5, blah, oh, of blah, course. blah. Absolutely. So having Let access. Yeah, oh, exactly. Of course. A powerful one. So to have access to Game Pass and use the cloud gaming aspect, look, does it work brilliantly 100% of the time? No. And if do you have a poor internet connection, will it work? Not that great. Mm. But on a mobile, on the Telstra service as an example, I have never had an issue. Nice. Never. Yeah, good on and it. And I, I actually plug it in. Actually, self-promotion, please hold <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> nah, it's okay. We'll forgive him. Watch your step back there, Dan. Yeah, don't fall down some more stairs, please, sir. Oh, 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 so funny. <laughs> so this oh, is what I've I seen actually use. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I really want one of those. A if I phone mount. if I had a bit of phone, I would have one of those, and I would have Genshin Impact. Yeah, on my phone. It's fantastic. You connect it. I think they're like nineteen bucks or something. You connect it yeah, well, straight, and this all. says only for the Series X controller. It actually works with the original Xbox One controller as well. So I don't yep. know why they made a big deal about it only working with the Series X because that's wrong. It's like the PlayStation Five One only works with the PlayStation Five controller, though. That's a a okay. big a big Important. thing. Uh, the yep. PlayStation Four One again obviously doesn't work with PlayStation Five. Yada yada yada. But yep. I just wanted to make that point that just because you don't have a system there are so many different avenues now that let you play these games and get get on board even like the nvidia geforce thing that's out yep. live right now mm -hmm. i think it's yeah like, totally games have never been more accessible yeah it's so awesome don't, truly don't if feel restric play, restricted by your hardware that's that's no and Definitely if you want advice not. Feel free to ask uh, yeah. any of 100%. us. Uh, come, yeah, for sure. More than happy to to chat to you about, about hardware. Dan's probably the one to talk to. Uh, he's probably a bit more knowledgeable than we are. But having said that, we built our own PC. It's down here on the floor. You know, we we own the, the consoles. Is or, it yeah. I know. Our desk is way too small. We is really need to invest in a bigger desk. But before we invest in a bigger desk, we have to invest in a bigger place to fit said desk yes we need bigger everything you know Classic. what we could do is is it actually on carpet yeah 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 so that's bad so what yeah. we could actually do is it's I, ideal. I, I, i'm still needing to 3d print you guys a couple of things yeah <laughs> our uh, mario party uh mario kart controllers oh, yeah. yes i threw out the other ones our old ones the other day yeah, in preparation, in preparation yeah, I'm, yes. I'm i'm still trying to fix the printer Sorry, should be the final no. parts to fix it should be here tomorrow so oh yay I'm that's exciting stuff. yes but we can print feet let's print you guys some pc feet i would love some feet i think i only need two no, I think we need approximately four more. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, that's what I, no, I printed. No, when like mine feet. was working, I, I printed some for my PC because it mine was sitting on carpet as well. Yeah, look, <laughs> our PC, like it has got four feet on it. So it's just about yeah. this high off, off the car. It's not like fluffy carpet or anything, which is a blessing. Thank yeah. God. So it's just about, yeah, about half an inch. Yeah, true. It does have little centimeters. For I never noticed them before. You guys but who can't see are. my fingers on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's good. But, I mean, I'm always down for feet. 
that's interesting to know. <laughs> yeah, apparently it's one of the Some... most popular ones. <laughs> Something like, that apparently no one needed to know about you. No, but uh, look, okay. Actually, Moving on. <laughs> there, <laughs> there is something I will bring up on along that line, even though this is this is meant to be a semi-professional podcast. Do you oh, know? Yeah. Do, do you know which uh, console? Yes. Oh, the most... oh, yeah, I know what he's going to say. I don't. <laughs> I know what he's going to say. I don't know what he's going to say. <laughs> this is... No, this is gaming news. Yeah, go, Dan. Go, go, I'm go. I'm too innocent. Go on, Dan. <laughs> Do you know which, which gaming console is the most popular for Pornhub? Oh, I thought it was going to be that, but I wasn't 100% they sure. They have access to those numbers and that kind of information. They track that. Is it the PlayStation? Yeah. Well, it's certainly not the Switch. Sorry. They only they don't even have Netflix. <laughs> they do have Anime Lab though. Well, that could come. <laughs> that could count. So now, it's anime there. Lab, uh, Anime Lab is going. Yes. Oh, it really? Is, it's Funimation yeah, now. Oh, Funimation. Which is better, yeah, sorry. Which is yes, I yeah. agree. Yes. Yes, so, we have our VPNs to access the better things on Funimation. Definitely worth it. You're not all the one pieces. This yeah, isn't an ad. VPN, I've been watching that in a somebody, long time. Somebody should uh, sponsor us. Some <laughs> VPN, come and express VPN, come and sponsor us. <laughs> no, I'm sure they'll be very interested following what we were just talking about. Oh, they're yeah, like, yep, they're, these are the people we want. Yep, yeah, yeah, if you want to access more categories on your PlayStation, <laughs> yeah. get express it's probably VPN. is it like that? It probably is. Yeah, I'm you sure know? it is, dude. Oh, I'm sure. like I wouldn't Netflix. know. Yeah. Shows allowed. Let's check with Tom. Regions. He might know. Yeah. No, I'm, yeah, pretty, I'm, pretty, yeah. I'm pretty sure when I was in Japan, there was um yeah different categories. Yeah. Oh yeah, I actually yeah. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we really need to move on from this. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and change the conversation completely. There was an indie direct the other day. That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Nintendo Indie Direct. Uh, Dan, we've never actually heard you talk about indie games before. Are you a are you a fan? I for me, it, I really need some backing before I'll invest my not not so much my money in a game. I'm I'm happy to to support indie games, but I need mm-hmm. to know I'll like it, and that's sort of my biggest problem i don't have enough time in my Mm -hmm. in my day to play everything that i want to play in the first place oh yeah of course not that's for sure we're two people and we don't have time so like like it is a plague's tale is an example right yeah Mm -hmm. it's not an indie but that's an indie no but i that's been a very talked about game that's been very big on our website it looks awesome. It does so look boring. <laughs> <laughs> not Is it just of- the stealth? You're not a fan of stealth? I, look, I'm okay with a little bit of stealth, but the whole game mm-hmm. so far. It's the stealth and game, and I've, yeah. I've, I've just uninstalled it. Straight up, isn't it? It's There's nothing else. It's, it's like a stealth shooter or no, stealth no. adventure or stealth yeah. horror. It's like a you use a slingshot thing and you hit some torches. And or some ham, and <laughs> that's about that's Festive. about yeah. like it's, it's like so it. repetitive that it has made it extremely boring, and that's that's my problem mm. with games. So, indie games are one of those things where if there's enough hype around it, then cool, mm-hmm. I'll jump on it, especially Switch ones. Yeah, our switches, man, indies on the Switch. Again, that's why they have their own directs. Yeah. yeah. Like they literally have. I think it's the best platform for indies, in my opinion. Yeah, 100%. I, 100% agree. And I think indie devs agree with you as well. Well, I was actually shocked that there weren't more, like in the game awards in the indie section, there wasn't many indies there that were available on the Switch. And I was like, what? Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, it was, it was a bit strange. I don't yeah, have any I, indie on my xbox or Mm -hmm. or previously my playstation but on my switch i'd have close to i'd have close to 15 yeah there you go go. playstation is a little bit better than 
Xbox. Obviously, I can't say Microsoft because on uh, on PC, there's pretty much every indie game. Well, yeah, that's where. Yeah, it's just just how it is. Uh, Which, but yeah, the Switch is definitely. I wonder definitely if it's going home. to change. I have well, Steam. I mean, they're always gonna. Yeah, but with cloud gaming. You can pretty much get anything to run on anything. Yeah, so you think that indie games will be more accessible? Over. Maybe, yeah. I hope now so. I, now that I think about it, because if you if you think about it as an example, the NVIDIA GeForce thing, where you can literally yes. play any Steam game or blah, 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 whatever you've got in your collection yep. on NVIDIA GeForce, I mean, who's yep. to say that's, you know not going to expand for i mean especially microsoft they're on the they're on a power wagon with cloud gaming i mean if if sony don't get on that quickly they're gonna they're absolutely gonna fall behind yeah no definitely but no sorry i went on the tangent no no it's a good thought no no it's interesting it's interesting laura is so I think I'm somewhere between you two. Laura's definitely the indie master. Oh, I love indie games. Yeah. She froths them. Mm. And there's, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Some Especially, of the best games I've uh, ever played. Munchies Dungeon or what is it? Yeah, that's the one from the most recent indie direct. It was, I bought it like that day. Dungeon Munchies. Dungeon it Munchies. It looks, yeah, I was like, man, that looks cool. And it is cool. It's like pretty hard. Well, it was, it was fine up until like the bosses are pretty hard. The first boss I defeated like first try, but the second boss, I've been stuck on that boss for a couple of hours now. There was a point the other day that I was playing it and I tried this boss for so long, like so many times that I had to switch to Pokemon because my thumb was actually cramping up from the amount of attacks that I was just like... Yeah, you should have heard her. Like, I was playing something else and I looked over and I was like, are you okay there? I'm just like... She was like... <laughs> I was like, what the... So like, is this on the... Is it on the Switch? Yeah. yeah. So everything okay. that comes on through, it's obviously a Nintendo Indie Direct. Oh, yeah. And on... they showed, like, 19 games or something. Heaps with the, of games. With the little sizzle reel they always do at the end of their Direct. 19 in total? Yeah, 19 in total. Mm-hmm. Pretty heaps impressive. of cool looking games. There's another game called Sea of Stars that I really can't wait. It it comes out Christmas next year. Yes, so it's quite a while away, which is also a good thing about these indie directs mm-hmm. is that a lot of these stealth dropped dead and there. They're like available. Dungeon to Munchies play. was available later that day, yep. but some of them you do wait a long time for. Like my favorite indie direct that's ever ever happened was the one that had Hades, Goose Game, Garden Story, mm-hmm. and this other indie game called Beer and Breakfast. Yeah. And that still hasn't come out. And, and I'm just a... waiting yeah, for it. Hasn't it hasn't even got a release date yet. That was no, like eight... that was in 2020. And that... Yeah, like at least at least a year, if not more, away. So... And Don't Starve Together was on this latest one. I've heard a lot about that game. Yeah, it's really it's quite popular. So it's not always they're being released on the Switch. Sometimes they're already out on Steam well beforehand. Yeah, I was just about to say the Dungeon Munchies version that we have available on the Mm -hmm. website is the Steam version. Yes. Mm. Yes, that doesn't that that doesn't surprise me. That's available right now on the low grade game. Because you said it's hard, but you didn't say what type of well what is it? A dungeon crawler. Editing Laura here. It's actually a side-scrolling action RPG. So, my bad. You kill monsters and then you get parts that you can create food with and armor with. And the food gives you, like, certain power-ups to do with the... So, they're the munchies. That's where the munchies come in. So, you have, like, a little... Yeah. (laughs) So you're eating You've zombies. You've got a little bar down the bottom. Yeah, You've got like, munchies. yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, monster munchies. It, you've really got to have the munchies to get through the dungeons, M&Ms. honestly, or else you're just weak. Weak. Way so weak. <laughs> yeah. So you've got a little bar down the bottom. There's like uh, maybe like, I don't know, eight meals that you can have. Um, and 
they all give you different power-ups, but there's heaps of different meals that you can have. So you have to come up with the best combination of meals to give you what you need. So okay. they'll just be all sorts of random things. Like if you land a hit, then you will release this jet of water that causes five damage or something. Okay. Or um, you've got my weapon of choice is a spear. Mm -hmm. So you've got a primary or secondary and the secondary could be a shield or it could be another weapon. Yep. I like the Firefly laser. Mm, there you go. Firefly laser. Mm -hmm. Better here. Get on that one. So do you actually level up or is it just... No, you don't you just have a level. You find better munchies. You find better munchies like and, better, and can create better weapons. Yeah. I like that about games where your, your HP and ability is skill-based mm -hmm. rather than mm -hmm. just grinding for levels. You, you're yeah. grinding to find things to actually do things yes but yeah. at the moment i'm kind of like since i'm stuck on this boss i can't progress and find any more munchies to make You've i've got the, all the munchies oh. i've got all my munchies mm. so now i really just have to improve my skill and the projectiles on this dragon you should see them it is raining projectiles i get all the way to the end of the boss fight and then it's almost like you kill it but and and it just like flies around in the you know, imagine you've got a balloon and you let go of the balloon and it's like, oh, yeah. that's what it does. <laughs> but with its projectiles and you have to like survive that rain of projectiles in order to progress. And I'm just uh, working on it. surviving that rain. Right. Easiest, easier said than done. I, just I, found I think we that, need a recording. I think that would be good. Yeah, maybe I should play it on on stream or something one day. So yeah, we just... uh, this this dungeon munchies is so good that our our most recent YouTube video, the one that's going to be released, is about our favorite games of 2021 that have been released in 2021. And dungeon munchies is so good that Laura, she's only been playing it for a couple of days. This mm -hmm. indie direct happened just just a couple Two of days, days ago. ago I think, yeah, maybe yeah. Friday, and she thinks that it is deserving of a place of the best games of 2021. I think so. I'm really tossing up between these two games. Which so is... you very well might see a recording of it. I'll put it in the video. Yeah, exactly. So if it does make it, then yeah, you, you'll be able to find it on that. Yeah, screw it. I'm going to put that in. That'll right, be in the done. video. Yeah. yeah. This may my decision. Look. It was going up against Cozy Grove. I don't know if you've played that, Dan. Cozy another, Grove. Another indie game. It was like big on the like, cozy gamer instagram scene yeah instagram is really good for cozy games if anyone's mm -hmm. into that it's a really nice community there uh but yeah yeah it was big in that uh we had a lot yes yeah, sea of stars sorry i want to come back to sea of stars from the indie direct yeah that just looks like an incredible game it looks like an absolutely amazing game and they've also got I don't know if anybody has played Chrono Trigger. Dan, did you have yeah, played Chrono Trigger? Yeah, that's right. I've heard. So it's well renowned for having one of the best gaming soundtracks of all time. Uh, I'm a big music guy. I like music, play a lot of guitar, drums, all that jazz. They have got the same composer from Chrono Trigger coming in to do the soundtrack for Sea of Stars. And I am extremely excited. And I think a Xenoblade as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Xenoblade. Xenoblade too, yeah, which is really cool. So Sea of Stars is a prequel to The Messenger, if anyone's played that. Another another great indie game. Retro-inspired turn-based RPG. Sea of Stars will be. Yes. Yes, yeah, so a 16-bit RPG. And I feel like that's why you're big on the indies because... I love 16-bit retro-inspired games. Laura's, I'm a musical artist. Laura is a visual artist. So she has a degree in art history, so she quite quite into visual arts and the visual art that comes in in the indies is mm. like all these triple a games are just going for realism which is fine you know realist the more again we talked about hellblade at the start of the podcast it looks phenomenally good because it looks so real mm -hmm. uh the matrix experience game thing that was also announced at the game awards looks amazing running on unreal engine 5 uh it looks good but i don't get it Oh, the, look, it's, it's like not a, really a game. It's an interactive experience thing. Yeah. It's yeah, yeah it's not a, really a game. It's one of those point. things you find at Disneyland or Movie World. You know, like those, remember Something those like five like yeah. D streamers? Yeah, yeah. That's the same 
water on you and there's a cool Shrek one at Movie World. Yeah, I can take yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah. That's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking of. Yeah, that's awesome. I think there's a Pirates of the Caribbean one in Disneyland for all, all you non-Australians out there. But yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Yeah. But, and look, realism's fine, but there's so much more mm. to art and visuals. And yeah. indies just, whoa, they, man, there's some good looking stuff out there. Like Sea of Stars, just I, straight away, I just looked at the the, fir- the first piece of footage they showed and I was like, that I don't even care what type of game it is. I want it. It, it looks, really looks, it looks amazing. Yeah. I'll definitely be getting that. 100%. And then, the, yeah, and stuff like, I think I mentioned Hollow Knight before as well, cost $14. It's like Beautiful. 40, 50 hours long and it is gorgeous. That thing is beautiful, both visually and auditorily, auditory. The soundtrack is also good. <laughs> That's what I mean. Nice. Yeah. So, so the Hollow new, new Knight sold out yeah. at our suppliers. See? And yep. so good. far is unacquirable. Unacquirable. Team, Team In Terry the digital is realm. An Australian, Australian developer. So quick shout out to Australia there. Might be the biggest game that's come out of Australia in a long, long time. Uh, props to them. They did amazing. There's like three dudes in that studio, man. Yeah. Like, and as Dan just, it's sold out. Like, oh, man, they did well, didn't they? Yeah, They man. really did well. Silk Song is so and heavily anticipated. Wow, that's there was a few complaints about this Indie Direct. I think that's there, the Laura? most disappointing thing that wasn't, released in this indie direct was well indie world showcase i should say that's what they're called yeah i always i yeah it's, it's not actually an indie direct no it's an indie that. world showcase okay our bad i should stop yes yeah, sorry indie world showcase my bad. but silk song is the main thing that i've heard that people were pretty upset not to hear about which is the sequel to hollow knight if yes anyone excuse me if anyone doesn't know uh yeah people are upset that that wasn't there People are upset whenever their favorite game is not in one of these state of plays or directs or of showcases. course they are, yeah. It's man, you can't you can't have everything. I'm sorry. Apart from the fact that Hollow Knight sold like well over a million copies on the Switch alone. So it's probably gonna be in a real Nintendo Direct. Yeah, that's than, what I that's what my theory yeah, is rather that than it, indie showcase. It surpassed the indie showcases at this yeah, point. Yeah, it's it's huge. It, that game is good, it's gonna be massive. So that's going to be at a direct. You know what was really disappointing to me? And I'll see if I can find it. Is how toxic the gaming sector is. Yeah. 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 Somebody actually put a post up. Can't remember where, where it was or exactly how it was worded. But yeah. it was something along the lines of, I'm not very good at FPS games, but I really want to play some. Yep. What's the least toxic one I can do so I don't get yelled at? Bully. That's such a shame that that, that question has to, has to be, be asked. Yep. Yeah, it is. Doesn't matter if you're not good, just have fun. Let people Everybody have fun. has to start from somewhere. You don't pop out of the womb you know, holding a weapon. Yeah, dual wielding and <laughs> yeah. doing headshots. Yeah, except maybe Dan. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> maybe sure. your brother, actually, it I, sounds yeah, like. Yeah, probably my brother. I did actually yeah, message him and say, pretty average. Play <laughs> Well, Dan's brother then, I should Dan say. Dan messages here. Yeah, no, my, bro- my brother is far better than me. But yeah. I actually did message him and say, uh, well, on the Facebook comment and just, I think Halo Infinite is probably the better one for it because it's really hard to be toxic because you can't yep. really hear everybody. And yep, that works. on top of that, just add me. Like, I'll play with you. I'm always looking forward. Well, you I, could like, just not play with voice chat. Yeah, that would work. Like Halo I Inf- never play Overwatch with voice chat. Halo Infinite, so though, can't you can't it's yell not at me. on by default. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that people are just losing it at me when i'm playing overwatch but i'm just blissfully unaware <laughs> ignorance is bliss I'm left to suck in peace ignorance <laughs> is bliss uh, yeah look yeah i i agree the community is it 
game video games is like one of the most inclusive communities I've ever come across, and at the same time, one of the most toxic. Mm-hmm. FPSs are uh, notoriously bad. Yeah, they're the worst for it. I feel far more mainstream. It seems the more mainstream something gets, the more toxic it gets. Funny that. Yeah, which is quite interesting. Um, but yeah, even with this, even with this indie direct, like people were like, "Oh, there's all these like cozy, cutesy games." Like, I want they're not real games. Yeah. I get it all the time on my Instagram. I wanted to see something like Ninja Turtles. I mean, yeah, Ninja oh, Turtles is cool. Me, to me too, fair. man. Like, I I like Ninja Turtles, but like, did you even did we watch the same direct? Like, were you just there to see some Ninja Turtles, or did we did you actually care about indie games? And, like, look, Dungeon Munchies is pretty hard, so play that, and that'll yeah. shut you up for a while. Yeah, exactly. Shut up. It's good. <laughs> it's a good one. It might be the, one of the best of this year. Give it a chance, basically. Yeah, it's Give quite it funny, the, like, fake games thing. Like, I put a reel up on my Instagram not long ago of, like, um, the opening of Breath of the Wilds because I had just got the OLED, so I was, like, oh, yeah, yeah. showing yeah. the screen. Yep. yep. And one of the comments was, like, I bet that this is as far as she got in the game. And then she started playing Animal Crossing again. And I'm just like, what? What a I like bag. Animal Crossing. <laughs> I know. It's like, what is your problem? Also, you're just totally wrong. Laura's put like almost 200 hours into Breath of the Wild, just so we're clear. Oh, also, update on the DLC. I defeated Maz Kosha, so now I'm up to the Trial of the Sword. Oh, nice. So I'll just, I hope you're listening, uh, man, yeah, on Instagram. Mate, <laughs> maybe. 200 hours in, pretty much all the DLC. Leave the poor lady alone. Even <laughs> She just got a new toy. She just wants to show you. <laughs> Look at my new toy, that's all. <laughs> Oh, it's the fact that you even have to justify it is bullshit. Yep. Just yeah, let Don't. everybody be. If somebody wants to play Ninja Turtles, let them play Ninja Turtles. If somebody yeah. wants to play Animal Crossing, play Animal Crossing. If yeah, somebody exactly. wants to play Angry Birds, play yes. Angry Birds. That is still a game. It's, the I movie is yeah. funny. My yeah. daughter finds it funny, so I do. <laughs> this is fair enough. I, yeah, it was okay. Uh, <laughs> it's not my favorite video game movie of all time. I haven't seen it. Yeah, it's it's, it's quite young, isn't it? Well, I yeah. feel like maybe if I had a daughter, I would have been forced yeah, into watching exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, she's, she's but yeah, that's the, I, look, we've daughter. said this on this podcast before. We're going to say it again, and it probably won't be the last time we say it. Play whatever you want. Yeah. There's are, no fake games. There's like, no rules on being a gamer and yeah. what you have to play. You don't have to play Call of Duty to be a gamer. Yeah. Like Animal Crossing, wasn't that? Did it win Game of the Year or was it just up for no, Game of the Year? It was nominated for Game It was nominated for Game of the Year. Does and that not classify it as a nice game? It's just to be nominated. <laughs> like it's clearly a game. It, it, it's quite obviously it is I bloody guess. popular. Like, yeah. it's, it's kind of like, you know, the second highest selling game on the highest selling console right now. So our, you, our you Animal Crossing shipments for December was yeah, huge. huge. I think yeah, it was our I, second I, second biggest. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it does does not surprise me at all. It's 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 a fantastic game. He probably secretly loves it and it's just like his, you know. He's just like looking in the mirror. Pleasure. Yeah, and he's just like trying to portray that he's like, oh, I don't like Animal Crossing. I really, I bet that. he does. Yeah. <laughs> Deep uh, I down. Think, yeah. I think the toxicity is is really poor. And I think it happens a lot with women as well. Which yeah. I think is the disappointing. I mean, For sure. I'm I'm not a woman, so I can't advise, but I'm, <laughs> I'm sure you can. Like, yeah, well, that's like I experience it all the time. Go on, give us a. Well, that was my bye. first. That's the example. Um, example, um, yeah, and probably the most obvious example. But like, I get snarky comments on my things like all the time. Like, I got one on a controller picture the other day of our um SN30 Pro. 
Yep. And someone comments on, on it and was like, she doesn't have an SN30 Pro 2, zero out of 10. <laughs> what? And I what? just laughed and I considered replying and then I was just like, nah. <laughs> but I just thought that was so hilarious. <laughs> I bought that controller. <laughs> Zero out of ten. Zero oh my out of 10 god! For you. <laughs> it was so funny. Bad people are weird. I think that yeah, that's probably my favourite one. Actually, it was just so hilarious. I couldn't hold back the laughter at that one. So girls, <laughs> girls can't play games. Why do people feel like they have to like safeguard games? Is that yeah. the expression? Gatekeep. Gatekeep. What? Like, who are you? And. Stop being so sad. <laughs> do, do you even have the SN30 Pro 2? Yes. Probably not. <laughs> Dan do. does. Do. Mm. <laughs> it's on the show. Well, you're a real gamer. Oh, 10 <laughs> out of 10 cri- for Dan. That's the criteria these days. <laughs> yeah. If you've got an SN30 Pro by 8-Bit Do. <laughs> I, 8-Bit Do do some amazing stuff. Oh, they do some fantastic stuff, so... I love not, it. Yeah. Any of their controllers are really, really great. There's honestly yeah. not a bad pick. I would love to have the SN30 Pro too. So it's got handles. It's good, but yeah. I kind of got the original one because I like. The we SNES. had the option to I get like the, the SNES, dude. I wanted yeah. that old school one piece of. Yeah, I didn't want the handles. Yeah. I wanted the old school. So you can play the old school controller on the couch instead of like cross-legged in front of your TV. Exactly. Nah. You know Best what? of both worlds. 100%. That's fantastic. <laughs> zero yeah, zero, out, zero of out of 10. He probably doesn't even understand that. He probably doesn't even know what a SNES is. Probably <laughs> not. He's probably 12 <laughs> plays Fortnite. Yeah, exactly. Let's be honest. Yes. Yeah, 12 and Fortnite. Mm. But yeah, yeah, it happens to me all the time. But whatever. I still like games. I'm still going to freely admit that I love Animal Crossing. And I also love other games that aren't Animal Crossing. <laughs> Yeah, now, I've got yeah. a friend who plays Fortnite and she gets ripped into about it. Yeah. Really? Because she is like, I mean, in her late 30s playing Fortnite yep. and she streams yep. and she gets okay. she gets attacked over that like all the uh, time. That you- sucks. Just like let I'm, people play what they want to play. I'm pretty sure most of these like, big stream like ninja streams Fortnite is like one of the biggest streamers that there is yeah but he's a guy so it's oh, okay oh, for him. oh sorry he's a male yeah that like, is that the problem crap everyone i reckon Absolute that's the problem crap. yeah because it doesn't make not- like it just doesn't you know and this is this is getting super political right now even with racism sexism trends phobia whatever it's yep. called my apologies i don't know the terms but i i don't care what you're doing no. so yeah. to me to me when i hear about it on tv or I, something like that it's like do, do, does it actually happen like it actually surprised i know it does yeah. right but it mm, surprises yeah. me at the same time because i'm literally sitting there going who gives a shit like yeah what? Like who, who cares enough to have a go? It does not affect anybody else no. apart from you know the themselves. So yeah, make- I just don't get why people get so butthurt about the most ridiculous stuff let- that doesn't have anything to do with them, doesn't affect them in any way. Let people be happy. Let people be who they want to be. Play whatever the games they want to play. As you said, if that's a fifty-year-old playing Angry Birds. If that's an 80 year old playing an old school game and watch, or if it's your 36 year old friend playing Fortnite, whatever, man, do what makes you happy. Mm-hmm. That's the bottom line. That is the key to all life. of these people have, have that fun. do this stuff. As far as I'm concerned, they're all like Hitler. Mm. And oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Think about it. Sorry. Think about it like this. Quickly. Think about it like this. Yeah. The number one race are people with blonde hair and blue eyes. Yeah. Okay. Are they? I, was, I, I don't know. That was are, the are top in terms name? of in terms of Hitler's uh, oh, race. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the Aryan race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Blonde hair, blue eyes. He didn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's far from it. How the hell does that make any sense? 
Yeah, I do. I don't, I don't, I don't That's know. That's why these you get people are all like Hitler. They make yeah, no sorry. sense. Yep. <laughs> okay. They do make no sense. Yep. I do agree with that. Jeez, You're that welcome. Weird. <laughs> and they're wrong. Yeah. That's yeah. another thing they have in common. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Ideals wrong. are questionable. Mm, yes. yes. Question you Hitler wrong. wannabes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy jeez. Oh, wow. That's Hitler's come up way too often in our lives in the past week. That's, a, that's a whole nother story for another podcast <laughs> because I think we're pretty much out of time now on that lovely ending. Yeah. I was, I was going to end on the uh, have fun, be happy, but uh, then we went into a bit of Hitler there at the <laughs> end. Well, so, we, uh, we, we ended on down with that. Hitler. That's where we ended yeah. up. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't, we can only go up. We can only go up from Hitler. Yeah, yeah. can't we? So well, next we week, hope so. Next week's only going to be better. Uh, next week we're talking about Stalin. Oh, <laughs> full pot the week after that. <laughs> My lord, oh, this podcast dear. isn't about games anymore. Actually, no, we've it's moved not. on. <laughs> I think quickly live on air why don't we discuss what we're going to do next week are you around next monday dan i think we'll be we'll be home from our christmas things we're gonna skip next week or we're gonna i think we should do it i'm happy to do it of cool. um no break things, for christmas then everyone i think everything's going to be slowing down by then anyway because christmas cool. is done so yep, and the time of the due, year for everyone due to some fantastic Shoe style, I last week we missed. Uh, he has more time. So yeah, no, I'm definitely happy to cool. crack yep. one out. Continue. That's we yeah. we already took our Christmas break for the tumble down the stairs and cocktails. So we'll uh we will be back at you next Monday. Mm-hmm. Yep, hundred percent. Yeah, no, none of these Christmas breaks. It'll be over. Who needs a break? We'll talk. We'll talk a little bit about Christmas and what we all got for Christmas and all that jazz and whatever news is going on in the gaming world as usual. Thank you so much, everybody, for listening. We love and, and appreciate Stalin. all of you. Mm. Yes, uh, they have <laughs> always always thank that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to check out Some Kind of Gaming on Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, all that jazz, all that social media garbage. Don't forget to check out thelowgradegamer.com for all of your gaming needs, gaming accessories, video games themselves, any late-minute Christmas. Uh, actually, you're probably too late. Now. Yeah, actually, shipping yeah. might not. You That'll be, be pushing it. You would definitely be. Tomorrow's pretty much the cutoff, so if something doesn't mm -hmm. get sent out tomorrow that's basically done and dusted we will be sending everything via star trek premium tomorrow even if that's nice. not what you Good chose on, yeah. because that's the one that's actually going to get there according to our uh yes Apparently. research anyway yeah. and so far they've been the most accurate in terms of their uh timing so i don't know why that is considering australia post is so far out but they're owned by australia post so I don't, I don't understand how that works, but they seem to be the most accurate. But if you are looking for some games, then you can't go wrong digital. So yeah, if there is something that, that you haven't off. bought, Good. yeah, even if you want us to do up, I was thinking potentially for customers for Christmas, we could do up digital code certificates that we could email out and make it a little bit more Christmassy for those that, uh, want it so we can yeah, do put something out in the corner. Yeah, yeah. It has just put its foot in it. So if you're listening to this podcast, drop some kind of gaming's name, and Dan will do you up a Christmas card to send out to you from the low grade gamer. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. He's uh, he's uh, he's committed now. Yeah, not in the post Don't though. Tell your by friends email. about it though, because he doesn't want to do too many of them. No. And <laughs> Uh, another thing that I haven't spoken to you guys about yet, but something that I would like to introduce to the podcast is yeah, please. for the next five weeks, we, five weeks, we will give away a digital indie. Yep. Oh, I love it. Fantastic love idea. Yes, please. So, Let's so do that. Oh, I think you know what ones? No, I don't know. I was just, I just thought of it just then, so. 
Oh. <laughs> dungeon munchies. No. Oh, all right. Uh, these munchies. Dungeon. They must um, be good at but yeah, it, let's. I'll have a flip through. I literally just thought of it just then. But yeah, let's let's do that for the next five weeks. We will give great. away yeah. one digital uh, indie game or Star Wars game, and we'll figure out how we're going to do that throughout yes. the week. And get back to Tom all of will you. figure that out for all of you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. I uh, just put my foot in it, didn't I? That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, but yeah, it's very easy to do it. as well. It'll be actually Laura can explain it. She did it. My um, and on Instagram, Kotor. Oh yes. So you get a code, you go into Steam, and then you press up in the left hand corner somewhere, and then you go down, put the code in, boom. That's not the best explanation I've ever heard, but uh, yeah. <laughs> that was, was good for on the fly. We were, we were on the fly and I put it on the spot. So that was good. <laughs> That's a general gist. Click this, yeah. click that. If okay. you click the things in the left-hand corner and read all of them eventually, you'll go, oh, it's probably that. It's yeah. literally two clicks. Yeah. Three if you include getting into Steam itself. I think it says product yeah. code. Yeah. And it's, then you enter a product that's it. code. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. It's that easy. Yeah. It's two, it's two <laughs> clicks, enter your code, and you're done. So it is very awesome. easy, very accessible. And you can do that the morning of Christmas if need be. Yeah. And we'll do that. So, yeah, the next five weeks running, let's include today. No. Oh, yes. Okay, don't you? Six weeks. Yeah. We'll include today. We'll work something All right. out. Screw it. Yeah. Why not? Let's yeah. do it. Uh, make sure you follow the Low Grade Gamer on Instagram and Twitter and also some kind of gaming on Instagram and Twitter for details on how to enter this because we don't know how you're going to do that yet. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> stick with us. Make sure you follow us on all that social media garbage. We're going to love you and leave you now. Sorry about that. Thanks. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yes, Merry Christmas. And yes, a happy please. new year. <laughs> <laughs> we will talk to you before the new year. The, yeah, there true. will be one more podcast between those two events. But stay safe over this silly period. There's, uh, yeah, a lot more car accidents seems to happen over Christmas. So please, everyone, stay safe. Don't do anything stupid. And enjoy. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the holidays. Whatever it is you're celebrating, celebrate it with Style. Love and style. I like it. Yeah, style. And the proper footwear. <laughs> yes, that too. Don't wear crocs. No crocs. No crocs and beers on Christmas. It's just not a good combination. It sounds good. And in theory, stairs, especially but... if you've got stairs at home. Yes. Don't do it. If that... you're on a level surface, crocs and beers all day. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe one. Maybe jandals other. instead. Yeah. What's a jandal? <laughs> What's a jandal? What's a thong? That's the real question, everyone. And with that conundrum, we'll see you next week, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Yeah.